Hello gamers, today we're back with another uh, Home Hacker review because why not? And today, um, in 2018, we got the Texas Special. I modified it to look like a post-war version with the red cow catcher and silver trucks. Then, then last year we just got the Lionel Scout, and this year we get the 2348. Uh, work diesel And I got the entire set And and let's just do the unboxing to see what's in here All right. Wait, Look at that it comes in this This packaging ah yes Why you look at that? Look at its gleaming red paint. Even got the tiny built by Lionel logo on it. Ah uh, yes. Ah uh, yes, loose trucks. It just makes it better. There's 2020 Lionel, well, Lionel licensing. It is the 25th ornament. No wait. cut out because of storage reasons anyway but yeah he's a gp9 uh why now password works train <laughs> yep it has the horn now let's see it yep this might be the thumbnail anyway but we don't just get the diesel itself no no holy it's a bit longer to the F3. But we also get the works crane. And now let's pull up an image of that on my computer. And there we go. I know it's small, but who cares? Anyway. I just put the packaging somewhere. And let's unbox the diesel with the, the crane itself. Oh, you look at that! Looks fantastic! This packaging reminds me of the... Oh, you look at that. As I was saying, the packaging reminds me of Menards, like, old style packaging, and here it is. Doesn't have a bit of weight to it, but eh. It's an ornament, not like a actual end scale look. I mean, item. And I like how the trucks were added to the engine. Just gives it more of a classic Lino look to it. Here we know it's in a smaller scale. And do these actually work? I don't think so. But there's wires on this for a reason. No, they don't. But it's still nice. It's still nice though. He got the crane arm. And it actually swings. Frick. Right. And it's connected to the diesel. Oh. Oh, that ain't good. Uh, I, th I think they didn't test, like, the coupling or how this gonna go while planning. Well, in the planning of this, because, yeah, the, the crane body doesn't actually turn, and, yeah, so, oof, I mean, it would have been great if it, like, this, oh, wait, oh, never, I'm stupid, I didn't even realize that it had this type of coupling. I'm um, sweet. 
blow us frick. But anyway, we got the crane and the GP9. I'm sorry if you can't see the truck. But we'll just put it outside. And now, to the work caboose. And let's pull up a picture of that. Because why not? But, fe but, but before we go to the works caboose, let me just eat my ramen. And my chicken. But don't worry, he's a word from me. Because why not? Sup, shit for brains? You are you having an argument with your uh, Lionel loving friend about what is the best post-war model ever made by Lionel? Guess what? Both are your both of your opinions are wrong. Wrong, I tell you. Let me tell you, the Lionel Tech Special, mm, A plus, one of the most greatest. Post-war locomotives that ever came out of the Lionel factory. Just look at her. She's gorgeous. What her beautiful red paint. The crisp uh, cursive lettering on the side that displays the words the Texas Special. And look at that great uh, Lionel billish plate. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Bye. <sighs> I drink to that. So anyway, back to the review. I just swiped the cable. Also, I got some power trains track because I know how much y'all y'all love to tell me that Lionel Hallmark ornaments fit on power trains track. So I just put them on power trains track. The only engine that actually fits well on it is the Lino Scout. See? Those little flanges keeps it on the rails. Like, the Texas Special, it just fits inside it. Like, the wheels are between the rails. And with the and same case for the work diesel. Because if you just look... Oh, let me just reroute it. Like the only, like the only part of the truck that is actually on the rail is the frame itself. Speaking of the underside, oh, on this model they don't have like some little bit of detailing, like on, like under the Texas Special where I have like the rollers. Under the trucks, identifying uh, identifying that this is a three rail. Well, this is a model of a three rail O gauge model, including on the Lino Scout. If you just right there, but it just miss out on the detail here. Anyway, let's just get on with the review and try to finish this. Also, the crane work, the work, the work crane fits inside the barrels too. Just line them up. Oh yeah, and this here miniature is this Lionel steamer. Yeah, let's just get on with the review. Oh yeah. Here's a picture. Let me just pull it out. Oh. It on my soda. Can. And when you look at it, doesn't look as bright as the one as the one shown in this picture. But then again. But that picture it looks like they have like the light, like the like they have light on, like they have light shining on the work crane there. Oh, he said it. Oh, here it is. Nothing special, but it really, but it also has that Lionel feeling trucks. Like look at that. No gap between 
no little gap right there just entire piece like yeah and like I thought like this part right here will be a bit more curved and including like the little uh caboose thing body but it's somewhat it is but at the same time it's not I don't know but yeah it looks pretty good again Lionel 2020 Walmart just couple it up and it did and Hallmark did made a miniature version of the work the work these the work train diesel but it was like back in 2003 or 13 I think 13 also I like how they have like these little windows right here like these shouldn't have well they shouldn't have really they shouldn't have because but now we can see the handrail going through the cab but I ain't but yeah I'm complaining about yeah, we can live with that. So, yeah, here's 2020's Lionel Contest. Well, let's just wait for October for, uh, for October, we're gonna get a, like, we're gonna get an extra ornament. And this time, it's a Niagara. Not just any line on Niagara, the Legacy Niagara. You wanna know why the Legacy Niagara? Cause it looks more like a Niagara and doesn't and doesn't look more doesn't it doesn't have a Lionel feel to it. Like these engines like you could tell these are by line you could tell these are based after Lionel models because in real life the Texas special did not well does not have like a completely red nose, it just have like a cream top to its nose. Uh, a, the like, no Atlantic has this type of tender. It has Lionel Scout on it, and I'm not sure if this is actually a real diesel. Like I know the basis is, but I don't know if this is like a real railroad. Well, I think it is. Yeah, but all of them have built by Lionel, except, well, I don't think this engine, oh, yeah, this engine doesn't have built by Lionel, but it's Caboose's Lionel line, so, with these engines, you can tell these are, li these are smaller versions of actual Lionel trains. Let me go a bit sidetrack here. Like, with a normal rail fan, when they see this ornament, they will think it's a New York Central in general ornament. They don't think it's like an ornament for Lionel. And it's for their 100th, 20th anniversary. In my opinion, they should have went with the Lionel Limited. Because, again, it's the it's Lionel's anniversary this year. And when people see it, they, they think, they automatically think of Lionel. And, yeah. So... And I'm already done talking anyway. See you guys later and have a good day. Chugging round the tree on Christmas Day. Can't you hear that Lionel train? Can't wait till my boy gets to run that line. I'll never tell him that it's really mine. Lionel, Lionel. Now it has the mighty sound of steam. My dad and I ran the Lionel Road. Quite a few Christmases back And I can still hear the clickety-clack As our Lionel rounded the trickety-track Yes, I had a Lionel when I was a boy Now my boy's gonna have one for his own toy Lionel, Lionel The greatest little railroad in the world Lionel, Lionel Now it has a mighty sound of steam Chugging round the tree on Christmas Day that Lionel train Can't wait till my boy gets to run that line I'll never tell him that it's really mine Lionel, Lionel The greatest little railroad in the world Lionel, Lionel Now it has a mighty sound of steam Chugging round the tree on Christmas Day Can't